Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk will meet in Saudi Arabia next month to decide the undisputed world heavyweight champion. And with just weeks to go, pundits and fellow boxers are giving their thoughts on the massive bout. Mike Tyson, who was one of Francis Ngannou's coaches for his clash with Tyson Fury, has now shared his prediction for the undisputed heavyweight title fight set for 2024. Tyson appeared in front of the media yesterday, where he said, I'm looking forward to that fight. That's going to be an interesting fight. I'm going towards Tyson Fury because I think he's just going to overpower him. He'll catch up with Usyk and overpower him. That's what I think. I could be wrong. Anthony Joshua has weighed in on Tyson Fury versus Alexander Usyk. Joshua believes that the Ukrainian will do enough on fight night to get it done. He stated, I've fought Usyk. I think he's a phenomenal fighter and he's got a great team around him and you're only as good as your team. After being in the ring with him and studying him, still studying him now, I think he's the one to edge it, probably because I've experienced his ring generalship and ring craft on two occasions. I think he's top tier. Deontay Wilder predicts Tyson. Fury will beat Oleksandr Osijek when they fight. Fury's size is what make him, what makes him, I think, gain more success and stuff like that. When I see him and Uzi, I see how he, uh, how they uh, uh, cheated Cunningham with that club and he laid his weight on him and then he grabbed him and clubbed him and stuff. I can see him doing the same thing with Uzi, putting his weight on him and stuff like that. I, I do think uh, Uzi has more skill. But when it comes to the size and stuff, um, uh, I don't think Usyk will, will be able to uh, compete with the size or the hanging and stuff. Um, but who knows? You know, that's just my opinion. Joyce has his own thoughts on how the two fighters stack up and what might happen when they finally step into the ring. Joyce stated, This is the fight everyone wants to see and I thought it was going to happen a lot sooner. But then the Francis Ngannou vs Fury fight came in October. Tyson Fury is taller and has a longer range, but Usyk throws more shots, is more skillful in the southpaw stance, and it is a 50-50 fight. I'm not sure who will win, but there will be a rematch. The bout exchanged words with each other before the heated press conference. Who the f are you? Uh, uh, Usyk! Sausage. Angry Tyson Fury warns Usyk is getting smashed, calls him useless piece of Another big day of running! In a mountain! Come on! Lennox Lewis believes that the Tyson Fury has potential to beat Usyk and he stated, I'm a Fury fan right now. I saw him beat Deontay three times and the way that he did it, he told us how he was going to do it. I didn't believe him the second fight, but I believed him the third fight and I watched him do it. I always say a good big guy can always beat a good small guy. 19 years is a long time and fans deserve it. Let's get it cracking. George Groves is backing Alexander Usyk to beat Tyson Fury, despite the Gypsy King being the favorite. Groves stated, Usyk wins. I don't think Fury's run of fights serve him well to fight in January, say, because his last time out was Chisora. That was almost like a glorified spa. He's got this fight coming up with a UFC fighter who knows what your mindset is when you're fighting someone who you know is inferior to you. So, has he been training properly? Is he sharp? Has he had the right sparring? Usyk is exceptional at being able to change and adapt. His boxing ability is superior, in my opinion, to everyone else in the heavyweight division. What he lacks in natural size he makes up for in timing, shot placement, adjustments of feet, tempo and power. It's Usyk's hardest fight, and it might be a close fight, but I think Usyk wins. Derek Chisora has rode back on his previous claim that Tyson Fury will beat Alexander Usyk. He stated, Tyson, to win. He's the bigger guy, longer reach, just Tyson. This is like a man taking candy out of a baby's hand, bro. Tyson's gonna win. He's gonna walk through that guy, that's it. Tyson has to get himself up now. His last fight was not a good fight, man, but he won. He won that fight. Simple. I said he was going to get knocked down and come back and win the fight. I think that burst some of his bubblies. Sometimes you can have a bad day, but in boxing, you can't have a bad day and win the fight. Matchroom's Eddie Hearn has given his thoughts on the upcoming undisputed heavyweight title, clash between Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk. I think Tyson Fury wins the fight. I mean, it all depends on if what we saw in the Ngannou fight was just him not taking it seriously, or you know, if it was him in decline, he's going to have a tough night against Usyk. I think he's going to be too big in that fight. If he's switched on, if he trains properly, which you'd expect him to do and be, I expect him to win. But you can't rule out Alexander Usyk. You know, it's a tremendous heavyweight clash. Um, another massive fight in Saudi Arabia, and, and uh, you know, great for the heavyweight division and great for boxing that we're seeing that undisputed fight. 
Karl Froch picks Usyk for the clash against Tyson Fury. He thinks Fury was confused against Francis Ngannou. And he stated, 2024 is going to be a fantastic year. Hopefully with a close humdinger with Fury and Usyk. I'm picking Usyk for that one, just because of where Tyson Fury is mentally. Hopefully Fury can have a good camp and rekindle some of his old greatness in terms of when he fought Deontay Wilder three times. He looked good. He looked different every time. I don't know, that's gone now. He struggles to get the weight off him. He seems under-motivated. When he fought Nganu, he looked confused. As he got old overnight, hopefully he turns up and gets the job done, because I want those titles to return to Britain. But at the minute, I think Usyk wins that fight. Meanwhile, Michael Hunter believes that Usyk needs some adjustment in his fighting style to beat the big guy like Tyson Fury. He stated, you know how to adjust a little bit more, you know how to adapt, make him use his own weight against him. I've been fighting big guys my whole career, professional and amateur. Against somebody that's kind of his size, then he can use his weight. Somebody that's tall like him, then he can be big like that. But somebody that's on their feet, like Usyk, not to say he can't use his size because he is big, but it's a little bit harder. I think Usyk would need to make a couple of adjustments, but I don't think the weight will make as much of a difference as people think. That's just my opinion. He's an endurance athlete. He's going to move a lot. It's a styles make fights thing. A little different tactics to Usyk Anthony Joshua. I think it would be an interesting fight. I'm pretty sure that Usyk would do very well. Joe Rogan also predicts for the Tyson Fury vs. Alexander Usyk. I just get very frustrated when there's amazing fights that are on the table that don't get made. You know, like uh, Usyk and Tyson Fury. Yeah. I was like, I want to say, I know Usyk is small, right? I know he's small for the weight class, but God damn, that dude is good. God damn, he's good. And the pace that he fights at for a heavyweight is insane. Definitely. I think that goes back to, you know, the business. Mm -hmm. You know, um, the business side, you know, Usyk is, you know, a great fighter. And it has accomplished great things in the sport of boxing. John has raised concerns over his son's training camp for the fight, which he slammed as a circus. He told Seconds Out, I never said my son was in decline because he's not. It's the people around him who ain't up to much. His training's in decline and his camp's in a bigger decline. It's not a camp, it's a circus. I saw him in the gym in Saudi, watched him spar three or four rounds with a couple of kids. I knew then it was gonna be a hard night's work. I thought, what have you been doing? I was alarmed, I still am. Unless you're gonna get the eye of the tiger back and go back to the old ways and get the hunger back. Sweat, blood, s and tears. Because Usyk doing that. Sweat, blood, set and tears. And he's got disciplined, professional, great people around him. And I don't think Tyson has that. I really don't. Johnny Nelson thinks that Tyson Fury can do everything Usyk does, but he's a bigger version of him. Tyson Fury can do everything Usyk does, but he's a bigger version of him. Uh, Usyk may have a bit of smooth about his work, but um, um, a good big, big and always be a good little one. And you've got two good fighters, uh, and, uh, Tyson Fury. Uh, he knows every angle of fighting, to box, to bash, to box dirty, to box clean, to, to, to psychologically get into a man a uh, long time before the fight starts. But I, um, I, don't, I don't doubt Tyson Fury beats Usyk. Meanwhile, Lucas Brown thinks that it will become a circus on Tyson Fury v. Alexander Usvik. How do you actually see the, the undisputed fight going? Because a lot of people now, after the Ungarna performance, are saying it's a 50-50 it's or it's a closer fight than they nah, actually expected. that was the whole reason. Both right. him. <laughs> it's all a show. Everything is a show. And it's become a circus. Um, but as long as people keep buying those tickets, they're going to keep doing it. So, boxing is a circus. It really is. It's a, um, it's a production. It's like a WWE at the moment. So, that was all put on on purpose, so people would now think, wow, 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 oh, he's going to lose and everything else. So I don't, I honestly don't know about that. I really, 50-50, I, I really don't know. Um, I was spot, I sparred Tyson Fury, and what an absolute gentleman he was, but like six foot nine. And no matter how you look at it, he's six foot nine, he's got some length. So Uzi can move and do this and do that, but like he's six foot nine, and that's always going to be the, uh, the, the key, I think. That's a wrap for today. Who do you think will win? Let us know in the comments below. Like, subscribe and all that good stuff. We'll see you in the next one.